Hi guys, welcome to your March 2021. This is going to be the you versus them reading for the beautiful sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you're subscribed to the Tribe and what's the fam bam, hello to my members. Now, this you versus them is what you guys voted on months ago. Okay, Libra, what is going on? Ooh. You guys voted on this. It's going to be a part of the regular lineup. I used to do it as a one-off when there would be short weeks and I was trying to break up the monotony and get some different energy on the channel. It was uh, one of the things that was received, one of the readings uh, that was received very well. Oh, okay. And so it's here to stay. It is going to be uploaded um, in between... The first and second video of the month and um, at, from the first through the 15th, the first and uh, week one and week two, what aren't they telling you? It's going to be Oreoed in there. And then at the end of the month, it is going to be Oreo between week three and four. OK, um, and it should be available before the uh, what aren't they telling you comes out for that next week. That's how I'm going to try to do that. So all of these will be done today and your what aren't they telling you, as you already know, will start tonight. As soon as I am done, I will post the order Libra. And yes, I am telling you in your you versus them video that you guys will be number one. So you lucky people, you Libras, you spoiled Libras, you guys will get this video today and your brand new what aren't they telling you tonight. <laughs> Just don't even understand how to deal with y'all. <laughs> so just to break this video down, um, if you are catching this for the first time, um, thank you so much for coming. I pull one Oracle card that represents like a centralized locate. I always say location, a centralized issue um, or some type of situation that is going on between you and the person. Um, and it doesn't matter what this is because there's always two sides to every story. So um, I'm not even going to lie about the card that I have pulled for you guys in your energy. I know that there are issues with this particular subject, but I meditated and it popped out. So um, we will get the divine feminine and masculine um, opinion about the situation, see where both of you guys are. If you are interested in what you are, sun, moon, and rising, I do list the masculine and feminine zodiac signs, all 12 of them down in the description box. Libra, you are a masculine energy. So we are going to start on the, on the divine masculine side um, to find out what's going on. I'm going to give it one more shuffle, and then we're going to get into what's going on between you guys right now. Now, remember, sometimes they're themed. Um, it may not be, it may not appear to be a problem, but you guys may not be on the same page. And that is soulmates. Now, this may look like it's not an issue, but until we unpack, we don't know what's going on. Because when I'm looking at the card of 41, I know for a fact that that soulmate energy is beautiful. However, um, when I'm looking at the card of 41 and I'm looking at the sum of the two, which is five, I know that there have been challenges within that soulmate energy. And I know um, from anything that is in the energy of a five, if it reduces down to a five, that means that you've had you guys have had a hell of a time just trying to. Um, live in that soulmate energy. And as you guys all also know that I teach over here that just because it's a soulmate doesn't mean they're meant to be with you forever. So let's find out where you guys stand. Now, yes, this is a harmonious partnership, but has it been harmonious? Friendship, companionship, a relationship fostering personal growth. Consider love in the deepest sense. Love so powerful that you will never be the same. Regardless of how long your relationship lasts. See? Consider friendships and romantic bonds so compelling that they overwhelm you with gratitude or break your heart open so you will finally be able to claim who you were meant to be. Even a companion, okay, a companion animal reminds you that it is you who is being rescued and healed. Pay attention for you are in the presence of a soulmate come to guide you home to the real you. When somebody is coming to guide you home, you don't, you don't know that you're not at home. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what got me home? So I know that this could have been barring aside the love of it. You know, it could have been very rough. 
So that means that, you know, you guys could have come, be, been in the midst of this person, but are you still with them? Let's find out. Soulmates, a beautiful energy, a beautiful energy, but it is in the energy of a five. So there's been a lot of challenges. Just trying to love this person. Just trying to be harmonious with this person. Show me how divine masculine is feeling. Whatever energy you are, that's who starts first, by the way. I just came up with that because I felt like that was fair. So since you are a divine masculine energy or a masculine energy, doesn't mean that you got, you know, I'm a Libra riser and obviously I'm female. I'm okay with it being masculine. <laughs> you need a combination of both in your birth chart, okay? That first card out is the Knight of Wands. Okay, so, well, we know what the Knight of Wands could be. <laughs> Let's keep going. Ooh, the Knight of Swords. All right, so the Divine Masculines. You are in an energy where I know there's been challenges because I'm looking at both of these nights and both of these nights bring very different energies here. I know it's been rough. Ah, but there's a Ten of Pentacles. See, there's our pot of gold. So we, ah, okay, I see. We have our pot of gold. We have our energy here of maybe balancing out the fact that you still want to do what you want to do. In an energy of being passionate, and most people perceive it as being flighty, um, being very passionate, wanting to go where you want to go, where you want to go, and pursue things the way that you want to pursue things, okay? Most people may perceive that as flighty, or they may perceive that as being um, maybe narcissistic. You're looking at it from a standpoint of, I have passion, and I am in an energy where I should be able to go and pursue things doesn't make you or it has maybe made you come off um, as a person who is not the most reliable, but um, <clears throat> sorry, that's a king of wands. Did I say night? And so I and the reason why I'm reading that, because the king obviously is always a step above the night, but I'm looking at the knight of swords. So I know these two energies have had. Um, Unfortunately, the damnedest time, the damnedest time at just trying to get their point across because they're so fiery that they miss the mark and have intact and how to deliver shit out of their mouth. Not to mention this Knight of Swords is not, like I said, he's not the most tactful person. So when you have a, 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 mas a masculine energy that is in an energy and can step up to his king's potential and be passionate and go out and be a go-getter, yet there's this rough edge around him where it's like, no matter what, every time, you know, they're looking at it as always trying to get this pot of gold, this 10 of pentacles, and they may not be coming off the best way. So I definitely know that there's something going on over here. They're, they're, they feel misunderstood. They may have made some, some, some decisions. Oh my God, I can't wait to see what the feminines have to say. Top of the deck on their energy is the Six of Wands. Um, so, you know, this is an energy, you know, there's people that's looking. And I say this all the time, especially with fire energy. It's such a worrying about what everybody thinks, um, living up to an image. And that's what this king, listen, this king of wands wants to do that. This king of wands definitely wants to do that. You know, the divine masculines are definitely this, this person has fire in their chart or they're driven by a very fiery goal. Maybe they are not a Libra at all. Again, this is the Libra video, and you are a masculine energy, but you don't have to resonate with this side. You know, take it as it resonates and choose accordingly. Let's get into the feminines. Because um, I'm already feeling some problems. <laughs> I'm already feeling it, Libra. I'm like, uh, show me what's going on on the divine feminine side. Show me, please. Show me. Okay, something tried to come out, and I didn't see what it was. The first card. Yeah, yep, conflict. See, fighting, and it's been fighting. Look at that. Conflict, quarreling, and competition. Oh, my goodness. Show me, show me spirit. And, oh, wow, they are coming up. Look, the temperance is here, and what came out was the king of wands. So you guys are mirroring each other. 
I don't necessarily think that you are mirroring each other and energy. I don't. I think that this divine masculine king of wands is a very dominant energy. And you're calling this out in your energy to show me. Like, Mar, that is what I wanted. I do want this person. But there's too much fighting. There have been things that I have brought up. And I want him to change or that person over here that's resonating with the divine masculine energy to change. I wanted the one day at a time. I tried, but it still fell apart. And honestly, um, feminines, you know, as crazy as this, as this energy is, you really do love the person. You really do feel like good, bad, or indifferent, that there's qualities that the divine masculine has or that this king of wands has you guys are mirroring and also what that means is is that you know you speak each other's language that that's what soulmates are there's her there's harmonious energy within your soul as a soulmate but the external energy that follows you guys is not harmonious <laughs> it's just like you know they don't know what to say they, they're not saying the right sh to you and you're just looking like, and, and I know you've told them to change. You've told them you believe it. And then in turn, you giving up, you may have given up. It was like, okay, fine. I'll change. I'll just, you know, let you do you. And they have a way of coming right back and popping up in your energy. See? Ooh, we Libras. All right. This is when it gets thick right here. When we get these, um, <laughs> these clarifiers. All right, we're going to start with the divine masculine. I ain't even ready for your comments. I'm <laughs> just like, I already know this is going to be crazy. Miss Michelle, you asked for it, right, baby? You got it. <laughs> I don't know if it resonates, but uh, you asked for it, that special Libra out there. All right, let's get into it. Ooh. Did they propose to you at one point? Oh, Libra. They are saying that. Lord Jesus, I'm going to have a heart attack at the end of the day. So apparently there is a proposal that they're either preparing. I'm not ready for this today. Um, or they want to move things to the next level. I can't make it up. It's right here. Now, for those of you who have been fighting with this, this person and have all of this damn conflict, ain't no way in hell you could even... This will be the last damn thing. <laughs> You're like, what? They haven't necessarily told you. Get proposed to surprise gifts, something that is proposed. Like for some of you guys, you know, take it as it resonates. So the proposal is moving to the next level for some of you guys. They're proposing something after this conflict, wanted to come out of the cold. I knew, I already knew what was going to, I'm shocked to see this. You know, they're, they want to be successful. They, they are driven for success, no matter how crazy it may look. Let me know what's going on. Oh my goodness. That's the reason why this damn 10 of Pentacles is here. Oh my God. Let me know. I can't. They're planning to propose. Stop. Oh my God. Show me spirit. What's going on with the divine masculines? What do they have up their sleeve? They are, it's been, it, they, they know that they've stressed you out. They are uh, stressed out too, but the, your stress will make you do things different, Libra. Okay. Well, whichever side, I, I really believe that you are really resonating with the divine feminine side, although your energy is a masculine energy. And again, it doesn't matter. Don't get caught up in that. Jump on the side you resonate with. I'm just giving it to you from two different perspectives. The masculine side knows that it's been stressful, but they don't deal with stress the way you do. You're cardinal. This person don't look like they, <laughs> this person look like they may have some, um, and please go and watch the other energy as well. If, if you know what's in this person's chart, please watch accordingly because this person doesn't allow mental stress and emotions to stop them. They're very driven. They are a king of wands. And you know it too, because this damn king is in your energy. So when you're done, you're looking for ways to improve it. 
when they're done, they're not done. They're just, it just gives them motivation to keep going. <laughs> you like, I don't understand. Yes. And they're saying that you need your space right now. Yes. The, um, and they're trying to allow you to have that space. Did you hear what I said? Allow you <laughs> to have that space. They realize that whatever just went down, um, whatever this, this fighting is and this conflict, quarreling and competition over here, something that was physically done, this is not a, um, a five of swords, a five of cups. This is a five of wands. So something physically happened. Something definitely happened. This is fire. So, you know, these people is fighting. I can't even believe how accurate this is for someone that I know. Oh, my God. Woo. Give it to me from the, <clears throat> the feminine side, please. Let's go back over here. All right. So frigid. Yes. You're cold. You come off divine masculine as, as being ice cold. You don't show your hand. Um, um, what what's that line? Um, um, I wrote a poem about it. Actually, I have a, a poem called Hazy Crazy, and I put that line in um, in this particular poem um, to, and it reminded me of that line. You never show what you know, basically. Um, and Divine Feminines is saying, like masculine, you, you have a cold personality. That goes back to this Knight of Swords. You can be very cold and calculated. Won't show shit. Won't show a thing. You'd be like, do you feel anything? That's a front. That's a front. I just showed you, Feminines, what they were planning. No matter what you go through, they already got this proposal in their back pocket. You may be thinking that it's plump, and they letting you do you too. You may, oh God, I just, I didn't want to be stressed out this morning, Libras, okay? <laughs> Uh-oh. See, you guys, you go way back. True friendship. You guys had a thing, solid, and it was very authentic, always there for each other, no matter what. Didn't need to go, be together. Maybe you weren't together anymore, but there was a friendship there. And I feel like, Feminines, if this is coming up in your energy, whatever just happened broke that. Something has changed. And you want them to know, yeah, sorry, not sorry. You're at a place where, you know, you're upset. You don't want to necessarily make amends. Whatever it is that you feel like you have to do, it's 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 a sarcas it's a sarcastic apology, but you're not sorry. Whatever this thing that just went down, you don't feel like is your fault. You're not backing down from it. Wow. Okay. So there was definitely something that went down. We're gonna go on the masculine side and yes. So in the past, they were working with you on something. Um, you guys had an agreement. Everything was fine. You were working together as a part of a team. Um, and that's the energy that they were in. That's the energy that they were in. Granted, they probably jacked something up, but that was the energy that they were in. Um, and then, you know, they were okay with that. They felt like you guys were working towards something. And on the feminine side, there's that ace of pentacles. So you guys were working towards something. Whatever you guys were working on in the past, um, you thought you were like, okay, this is a brand, the, the beginning of something brand new. They were in the three of pentacles, so they were okay. And then something broke down. Something happened because now in your energy, there is a five. They're not coming in like that, but they are coming in as a knight of swords. So I know that they did something that they didn't have no business doing or said something to hurt your feelings. And now you're in the energy of sorry, not sorry. So I don't know what they screwed up, but this is what it is. So we're going to close this out like this. The divine masculines are still looking at you and proposing and, and wanting to propose something to you, whether it's marriage or whatever. I have to tell you what they won't say on your end. You're just like, I'm sorry, not sorry. I'm, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I'm just at a point right now. Why? And they know you need your space that came out. Um, you, you need time to think about things. They haven't even asked some of you guys yet. This is just what they're planning. <laughs> My God. For some of you guys, they did. And you don't know what to do with this proposal because you're like, we don't even get along. You're full of shit. Like what this? 
like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe Libra. I cannot give you 30 or 40 more minutes trying to break it down. I hope it resonated. Drop it like it's hot. Let me know how you're feeling in the description box. And the last time I did this, this regularly, which wasn't that long, it was funny how it coincided with the what are they telling you too. So uh, that's the reason why I wanted to do these series Oreo between week one and week two on the top and week three and week four on the bottom. So this has been your you versus them from the first through the 15th. It's always a pleasure. Remember, these are uploaded in the order of the Western Zodiac. So I don't want to hear. You ain't voting on this because Libra, I'm not going to go through this with you. You're not going to beat everybody's ass. I'll see you guys tonight. Bye.